Nice to see the garage kind of empty a little bit. <laughs> that looks like it's probably going to rain again. Wonderful. Just what we need, more rain. But anyway, this video is not going to be talking about the rain or the weather or whatnot. We're going to talk about some of my high school memories, especially from uh, well, my senior year. And I can pretty much say that high school for me was uh, was pretty exciting. I guess it was really, uh, I mean, I started off my senior year kind of, uh, well, I, I started working at the nursing home uh, for a work experience. And I got to do that for about six weeks. And I didn't have to actually go to school or didn't have to go to regular classes. I actually got paid just to go to work for six weeks as a requirement for my classes and I got paid for it. I didn't have to, I wasn't behind or nothing. I, I just didn't have to do any schoolwork at all, which was kind of cool. Uh, a lot of people who do work experience don't really get that opportunity uh, to do such a thing like that. But I think the reason, real reason why I got to do it at the time was because uh, well, one little secret about me that, that you don't know is that I actually was in special ed for pretty much my entire school, school time. Because uh, I was the reason, one of the reasons why I talk kind of nasally, like I, I sound, and I, normally I'm not this open to everybody, but I figure since I'm doing these daily summer vlogs, I'm going to have to be open to you whether I want to or not, right? Uh, doing a video every day for the summer. Well, I was born with a cleft palate, and what that means is that uh, the roof of your mouth or whatever isn't completely, uh, I don't know, like, isn't it completely full or something? Or, or is it completely like taken care of or whatever? You know what I mean. Anyway, so I, uh, you know, had a hole in the roof of my mouth for a long, long time, and hence kind of why I still kind of talk the way I do. See, I think I hear somebody coming. One sec. All right, guys, we're back here. I decided that instead of staying in my in the garage because I thought I heard somebody coming, and you know, all these cars were going by, and I know it's probably windy out a little bit, so you might hear a little wind, but I don't think we'll let that bother us, I don't think. It shouldn't anyway. <laughs> a lot of bats are not open, so I can't go over there and, and do a vlog. So I, this is kind of the only uh, chance of doing it, I guess, for today. Uh, I guess I could do it in my room too, but I just kind of, not well, nah. kind of want to do something in a different location if I can. I maybe have kind of a good background to it too, huh? <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, I, I, I was, uh, I had special ed for a long time, and pretty much my entire school year. And that's one of the things that I wasn't sure if I was going to tell everybody or not, because I didn't think he'd believe it. The thing about it is that I was not the smartest kid in the school, and I still would be even if I went back now, you know. But I didn't know as much about, like, I didn't really care. It wasn't the fact that I didn't, you know, like the stuff or whatever, it's just that I didn't care about it. You know, and, and who cares about geometry and, and uh, you know, like geometry, algebra, uh, science, and all that stuff. I mean, how often do you ever use some of those things that they teach you in school in your daily life? Unless you happen to have a career in, in physics or something, or, or, you know, in some subject where you, uh, you know, where you're going to need that stuff. But for me, for me, I don't need, you know, see the need. See, I know more about entertainment and media and all that stuff than I ever did know about, you know, math or anything like that. So maybe special ed was probably what I needed at the time. And it probably would be what I would need now, too. But depending on what I was taught, I guess. See, that's one reason why college didn't go so well for me, as per, as per high school do, did. Because in high school, I got a lot of help in whatever I needed. It. In college, they had people that would help you. But it was, <clears throat> it was never the same like in high school. And my senior year, I passed with flying colors, but it was a lot of it was thanks to the special ed department. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of, you know, something I wanted to share with you. Other than that, my senior year was pretty much a good year. It, it was the last year of school, and I wanted to try to get involved with as much stuff as I could. I uh, tried to get involved with wrestling because I, I was involved with it a lot when I was in elementary, but I didn't really last that long in in wrestling, uh, in high school wrestling. 
more or less, I ha I was more dealing with, you know, hang out with my friends more than I... I cared more about doing that than I did actually, you know, wrestling in front of people I didn't really care about or whatever. I mean, I don't know how good I could have been. You know, maybe I could have been really good. I don't know if I'd ever be, you know, at the time, state championship material or whatever, but I think I could have been... I could have uh, ranked somewhere because I, I really like wrestling. Wrestling was fun. I don't know what sports you guys ever were in in high school or whatever, but at least, you know, I always figure your senior year is a year that you really want to make an impact because it's your final year in, in school, and then after 